book is called Wombat Stew. We love this book at Platinum. This is written by Marcia Vaughan, and I think the illustrations must be done by Pamela Lofts. One day, on the banks of a billabong, a very clever dingo caught a wombat. There he is, in the pot. And decided to make wombat stew, wombat stew, gooey, brewy, yummy, chewy, wombat stew. Platypus came ambling up the bank. Good day, dingo, he said, snapping his bill. What is that water for? I'm brewing up a gooey, chewy stew with that fat wombat, replied dingo, with a toothy grin. Try and turn the page quickly. If you ask me, says Platypus, the best thing for a gooey stew is mud. Big blobs of billabong mud. Blobs of mud, Dingo laughed. What a good idea. Righto, in they go. So Platypus scooped up big blobs of mud with his tail and tipped them into the billy can. That must be the billy can. Around the bubbling billy danced Dingo danced and sang, Wombat stew, wombat stew, gooey, brewy, yummy, chewy, wombat stew. Waltzing out from the shade of the iron barks came Emu. She arched her graceful neck over the brew. Uh-oh, Dingo, she fluttered. What have we here? Gooey, chewy, wombat stew, boasted Dingo. If only it were a bit more chewy, she sighed, but don't worry, a few feathers will set it right. Feathers, Dingo smiled. That would be a chewy, right, that would be chewy. Righto, in they go. So in the gooey brew, Emu dropped her finest feathers. Around and around the bubbling billy, Dingo danced and sang, Wombat stew, wombat stew, crunchy munchy, for my lunchy, wombat stew. Old blue tongue lizard came sliding off his sun-soaked stone. Silly dingo, he hissed. There are no flies in this stew. Can't be wombat stew without crunchy flies in it. And he stuck out his bright blue tongue. There's a lot to be said for flies, agreed dingo, rubbing his paws together. Righto, in they go. So lizard snapped 100 flies from the air with his long tongue and flipped them into the gooey, chewy stew. Ooh. Around and around and around the bubbling billy, Dingo sang and danced. Wombat stew, wombat stew, crunchy munchy for my lunchy wombat stew. Up through the red dust popped a kidna. Wait a bit, not so fast, he bristled, shaking the red dust from his quills. Those are his spikes. Now I've been listening to all this advice and take it from me. For a munchy stew, you need slugs and bugs and creepy crawlies. Dingo wagged his tail. Why? I should have thought of that. Righto, in they go. So Echidna dug up all sorts of creepy crawlies and dropped them into the gooey, chewy, crunchy stew. Ooh. Dear me, this is a funny stew. The clever Dingo stirred and stirred all the while singing. Wombat stew, wombat stew, hot, spicy, oh so nice, oh wombat stew. Just then, sleepy-eyed koala climbed down the scribbly gum tree. Look here, he yawned. Any bush cook knows you can't make a spicy stew without gum nuts. Leave it to the, a koala to think of gum nuts, Dingo laughed and licked his whiskers. Righto, in they go. And the gooey, chewy, crunchy, munchy koala shook, all, shook lots of, and lots of gum nuts. There they are. Ah, cried Dingo. Not my, n now my stew is missing only one thing. What's that? asked the animals. The fat wombat. Wait, stop. Hang on, Dingo. You can't put that wombat into the stew yet. Why not? You haven't tasted it. Righto, I'll taste it. And that very clever Dingo bent over the billy and took a, took a great big slurp of stew. Oh, I'm poisoned, he howled. You've all tricked me. Oh, look at his face. 
and he dashed away deep into the bush, never again to sing. Wombat stew, wombat stew, gooey, brewy, yummy, chewy, wombat stew. That's the end. And the wombat vet looks very happy not to be in that stew.